I'm Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Today we're going to be looking at the Panda F138. Now, before I slap it down on the TV dinner tray and, you know, slap a cassette tape in it and see what it can do, um, just keep in mind that this is a Chinese radio meant for the Chinese market, and I can actually point that out with the little tag down here of where, if it goes into macro mode at any point in time, it says AC 220 volts at 50 hertz, so 5 watts. And that leads to a problem because I have 110 volts at 60 hertz. So even if the little transformer in here, which is meant, I'm pretty sure, for 220 volts, could handle um, the voltage, um, I'd, I'd be running cassette tapes fast if I was to plug it in and actually use it. And it, it came with a little lead, but for the sake of posterity, I'm just going to use batteries because I don't really want to deal with freaking, you know, testing it with a cassette tape and having it play fast. But anyhow, let's jump on down to the TV dinner tray and uh, let's go ahead and let's see how this thing sounds and how well it plays a cassette tape. So, uh, jump cut. All right, now before we start on like an audio test or anything, it, it, it did come with a little electrical plug. It was one of them, one of them dodgy ones that doesn't even have a little uh, dimples on the end of it. Can't, I'm not going to use that because it doesn't have a use for that. Um, it came with a cassette tape, and it also came with a cassette cleaner, which is nice because I actually needed one of these. But anyhow, let's just go ahead. Let's fire it up if I can figure out how because it is uh, everything on here is written Mandarin other than the logo and uh, the FM and AM dials. So uh, is this the right switch? Yes, it is. I believe it's on AM right now. So let's just go through the bands real quick. That's the volume switch. Transportation secretary. And so, uh, they, they're continuing. Listen. Well, this. I, I don't know. Look, it's, it's different. Let me. I would do that to you. Or 120. In fact, it was getting really difficult. No, no, no. no, no. no. 32. Cloudy. And the back end it wasn't a lot but all right so it picks up some am stations it doesn't pick up all of them because i got a christian station in there but i don't think i got the classic country station in there so not really usable in my studio but let's go ahead and let's switch it by the way this thing's actually a fairly chunky unit if you actually can see it um i thought it was going to be smaller when i bought it off aliexpress but fm Pat Mahomes was saying if uh Nick when Texas Tech plays billion dollars to Ukraine. I hit you in a little head off you with that man. Turn that for you. All right, that was that was that was that was just through the bands real quick. Um, go ahead and open it. And uh, I'm curious if this radio, since it came with a blank cassette, which of course with cassettes you need to make sure that they're you know somewhat tight. I'm curious if uh, this thing comes with a microphone on it, because I, I, I don't know if it does or not, so let's just go ahead and let's hit, oh, come on. Why won't it do anything? Oh, I see, I see what the problem is here. Just cassette problems. God, that makes a lot of fucking noise. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Let's see if it actually records anything or if I'm actually on a bit of cassette tape that I can actually do that with. So, stop. Let's see. So apparently you can record cassettes uh, through a microphone, which is over here by where the antenna is. So that's a thing. It's kind of loud and obnoxious. So let's just go ahead and let's, uh, let's play a cassette tape. And I think 
some in excess might be in uh, our future. So jump cut. All right. So I couldn't find uh, my in excess cassette for some reason. So uh, let's just listen to some Duran Duran, I guess. By the way, I have no idea what these what these buttons do. They do things, and I'm not sure what. Okay, well that sounds okay, um, but is it me or does this radio actually sound pretty decent for just being a little uh, single speaker stereo? And by the way, it is only a mono uh, cassette player because it only has one speaker and that's how they made it. But does, is it me or does this thing look like it's straight out of the year like 2001? I mean, that's the main reason I bought this is just because it just, it, it, had, it had, well, I guess at this point in time it would be a retro look considering that was 22 years ago. But, yeah, I mean, like, other than I got some reflections coming off of the studio lighting, this thing looks like it's straight out of the early 2000s. But, yeah, if you thought this video was entertaining, um, not really going into much more detail than that, uh, go ahead and let me, uh, let me know if you liked it down in the comment section. You know, hit the like, subscribe, you know, do whatever dumb shit you do on YouTube, and uh, thank you for watching. I'm Spastastic, you're watching Spastastic TV.